community advocates in Denver's Globeville El Rio Swansea neighborhood are mixing art and activism in a can of paint. They say that some of their neighbors were pushed out of their homes a few years ago because the city was eyeing those properties, but the houses just still sit vacant. So now the artists have come in, hoping to draw some attention to the properties and to the calls to have those houses returned to the community. As long as people could kind of question why these buildings were painted, I think that we did our job. Right now we're in Elyria, right off of I-70 in Brighton. These two buildings are buildings that we painted with the community. So this structure, as you can see, was 4681 Baldwin Court. It was acquired by the city for the National Western Center redevelopment around 2015 through the threat of eminent domain. The was 4681 was asked to be painted on there by the previous owner of the space. I think it just lets you recognize that this was once a home, um, no longer. No, you didn't want to give it up, you know, just like all these neighbors, nobody wanted to give up their houses. Bringing this story to the forefront is the reason why we paint these buildings like this. So the big idea was like, how can we give some life back to these spaces? This was a demonstration of sorts of, not necessarily a reclaiming of it, you know, because that, that battle has yet to be won, but just a demonstration of like what we could do if we're allowed to control our community. I'm from this neighborhood, so I like to use my platform as much as possible to help shed light on social situations like this one right here. Yeah, it's more than a structure. It's like people's memories. It's like people's experience. It's uh, people's shelter. But then these shelters specifically contain, contained, uh, and they still do, you know, people's memories, people's existence. And so all these paintings are really for the people. And uh, it's letting everybody know that drives by the people that once lived here. and the message that they wanted to continue on for generations.